We're going to be showing a demonstration of the oxide scale measurement using an Echo 7 DLW or Echo 8 DLW in precision mode with the live waveform. There's two transducers that are available, both 20 megahertz longitudinal delay lines. One's a 20 megahertz quarter inch element, the other is a 20 megahertz eighth inch element. These are simply chosen based on tube diameter, pitting, and whatnot. I'm going to be using the quarter inch element for the sake of today's demonstration. Go to the menu OK, press Setup, scroll to where it says Oxide DLK225, press Menu OK, and press the F4 measure key. In this particular case, I'm going to be checking the thickness values before I do a proper calibration to make sure I have, in case I have to adjust some waveform adjustments. I use the right arrow and stop where it says an IDB for initial gain. I'm going to turn down the gain until the thickness value is close to what we expect to see. Here it's still reading 173 thousandths when I know I'm on the 300 thousandths part. I'm lowering the gain so that it does not read noise. Again, I'm on the 500 thousandths, lowering the gain, getting in the ballpark, checking the values before I do a proper two-point calibration. Okay, these all look good at this point. I press Menu OK. I scroll up to Calibration Manual. Note that you can only operate the calibration in manual mode. The automatic calibration feature does not work in the oxide scale mode. I press F2 for substrate as the prompt says. Couple to 100 thousandths. Press 0 which is above F2. Scroll down to the known thickness. And then press Cal as the prompt says. It says couple to the thick which I'm on 500 thousandths. I press the F3 VEL key. You can remove the probe at that point. Scroll down to the known thickness of 500 thousandths and press menu OK and it spits out the sound velocity for the carbon steel test block. Now the prompt says couple oxide and then press VEL. Here we have a sample of some oxide scale, roughly 20 thousandths of an inch on the inside of a tube that's roughly 320 thousandths. I couple and I press the F3 VEL key. The number in the top right of 0186 will be scrolled up to 020 as indicated on the test sample. I press menu OK and the oxide velocity is calculated. At this point I'm ready to make measurements of both the tube and the oxide scale. I can freeze it so you can see the values as well. If I press unfreeze one other thing that you can do is now go to the setup and press save and give it a name. Dash O X I. Done. That'll be populated in the library.